talking to about 20,000 doctors across the country, mainly about their electronic health record, but also about their electronic billing systems. It was mind boggling to me that most doctors have absolutely no idea what they charge for a visit. It's not their fault. Each insurance company has their own contractual rate with the doctor. Rates that are very, very proprietary that most people will never know. So it's understandable that if there are over a thousand insurance companies and there's 900,000 doctors and there's 300 million patients, that this information is an absolute mess. So that, that's something I learned with Dr. Perno, that doctors have no idea what they charge for a visit. That just really blew my mind. And then I also found out that before a doctor can actually perform a procedure, they need to contact an insurance company just to make sure that they'll actually get paid for that procedure, for that particular patient. And that is what is called the healthcare eligibility query. And, and it was obviously a major problem for doctors. We currently, when I was at Dr. Crono, we did not offer an electronic solution to it. And it, it was really painful for them. They would have to hire full departments to make phone calls all day long, 30 minute phone calls with insurance companies to find out, you know, can this patient get this Avastin injection? Will they be covered for that? And can this patient go and get this diagnostic lab that they want because they're going to be pregnant. That's a big problem, right? But what was interesting is when I left Dr. Chrono and I wanted to build my own company based upon eligibility, I found out that the market and the opportunity is actually much bigger than just doctors. So eligibility queries. Each procedure may have up to five. So that's how eligible started. And now, in 1996, there were some protocols put out to port this information electronically. All the insurance companies were forced to comply. They've spent millions of dollars complying, each of them, over the past you know, 10, 15 years. But unfortunately, those standards were built in 1996. And now, they're still being used in 2013. Fine, we'll leave the standards as is. The insurance companies have invested so much money in them, but we have built a simple solution for healthcare companies to build these into their systems just as they would with the protocols of today's technology. It used to take developers, you know, nine months of just initial implementation time and then constant upgrade and maintenance to keep up with these old archaic standards. It's now taking them a few hours of development and we handle all the upgrades and maintenance in the cloud. We're tearing down the wall to a massive market. Big companies, companies with over 2 million lives that come to them monthly, are using our system to check to make sure that those lives have coverage for the services they need.